This short video will show you how to do data tracing on a Cortex M3 M4 device using serial wire viewer technology in a Tolitur studio. The data watch point and trace component in ARM CoreSight generates data trace information using up to four available hardware comparators. In order to use serial wire viewer to do data tracing, the user must first make sure that SWV tracing is enabled in the debug configuration. This must be done prior to launching the debug session. During the debug session, select which type of trace events you want to record. This is done by entering the Serial Wire Viewer Settings dialog. Comparator 0 is set to monitor a memory address using hexadecimal format. Choose which access type that should generate trace records. In order to read the memory address successfully, the size of the data type on the specific address must be specified. It is also possible to choose which information should be recorded, data value on a specific address, or program counter value when the address is accessed, or both. Timestamps must be enabled if the user wishes to use the graphical representation and plot the data values as a function of execution time. Comparator 1 and 2 is set up similarly. Here we are entering symbolic names. If a symbolic name is entered, the debugger will determine the size automatically. Make sure to disable all other trace-related events in order to reduce likelihood of overflow on this SWO data line. You can read more about this in our white paper section in the Serial Wire Viewer white paper. Then click OK. Click the red record button to start recording trace data into the PC trace buffer. Continue the execution and see how data is collected. The data is visualized in two different views. Data trace timeline graph and data trace view. The data trace timeline graph will show a graphical representation of the information from the comparators. The graphical representation makes it easy to spot values deviating from an intended pattern. It is possible to zoom in and out in the information to toggle between execution time and CPU cycles and to take screenshots. The data trace view will show the current value of all memory addresses currently being traced. It is also possible to view the access history for the different memory addresses individually by clicking on the symbol or memory address. In order to scroll in the history, the scroll lock must be enabled. If program counter information is collected, the developer can click on a specific memory access to see which part of the code that affected the memory address to take a certain value.